Hello, and welcome to this episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I'm your host, Michael, and here we are with the next episode. Anyway, hope you guys are doing good today. Hope you guys are doing great. And let's just get on with it. Let's go. And here we are. <sighs> I just wanted to quickly say, so, and I've said this in a past episode, but this is actually the time when they do move down to here. So at this point, this is their house location, but they moved here because of the androids, because Dr. Zero knew their old address. Yeah. And technically, canon wise, yeah. and I get the game devs didn't want to program a house and then move a house but uh, basically what happens is is in the actual might cause some trouble later oh, best to deal with this now let me destroy these little frickers get out of here get out of here leave me alone oh come on oh. yeah yeah Yeah! 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 That was a good work. All right. All right. So obviously, this is Gohan's old house. All right. Found some tasty-looking food. <laughs> we got a keeper. So this is where Gohan essentially. Wow! Raised Goku. It's my grandpa's man. I wonder how he's doing in other world. Hey, you never visit him, Goku. You even have instant transmission now. But obviously, Grandpa Gohan is an adoptive. But Goku didn't know that. But uh, yeah, this was the original house. This is accurate. And this is where Goku lived at the start of Dragon Ball. Now, if we're talking about accuracy to where Goku would have lived before, like between the start of Dragon Ball and now, so the Cell Games, 10 days before the Cell Games, it would be somewhere in this area. The house would actually be over here somewhere. It would be close to old, you know, Grandpa Gohan's house. It'd be in this area somewhere. Probably like right here, if I'm being honest. Like this is probably where the house would have been. It would have been the cabin house. And I'll even put a picture up here, if I remember to do that. But yeah, that's what the house looked like. But because of the androids, they had to move. Yeah! And actually, I think yeah! might cause some trouble. I could later. be wrong. Best I mean, to deal I'm with this now. But this could be the actual waterfall where Goku fell off and bumped his head when Gohan found him. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. The lore is that, you know, Goku had Saiyan programming instilled into him when he was a baby. So when Grandpa Might Gohan some first trouble found later. him, Best to deal with he was this kind now. of like a, a rowdy kid. But then, uh, he, uh, hit his head, and it messed up the programming, I guess. I don't know if that's still canon, but that, that was the canon. But yeah, and then after the android threat, they moved their house down to here, and this, this house is semi-accurate. Um, or it is actually accurate, because this is the house that they, they essentially, what they do, is I think they just leave the cabin, and take this attachment because that's a capsule house attachment um in lore they just press a button and it'll disappear and, you know and i think they just live in this but it's like a huge house you know despite what we see when we go in there uh, i think the interior is actually somewhat accurate to the piece that was attached to the cabin while this is kind of like a s smaller version of like the actual real house that Goku gets because there's like two floors which you kind of see that it's indicated by the windows 
And then, uh, but I mean, I mean yeah. look at the character sizes. I mean, who's going to sleep up there? So it's got to be a bit bigger. But, you know, it's a game. I get it. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not nitpicking about that. It's not like we explore the house and sleep in it anyway. I just, All right. you know, being a big Dragon Ball fan, I know certain details. And one of those major details is that they had to move from that location up there to down here because of the androids. Because Dr. Jiro knew their address. <sighs> So they don't get this house until now, technically. But the game, I get it. A game thing. They don't really think about that. They're just like, this is his house. Because this is still... It's still accurate. It's still in the same central... It's the same area. They didn't move from the mountains. So it's fine. It's fine from a video game point of view. But I'm just saying, from, from a fan's point of view, I gotta nitpick at it and call it out. Yep. There's no place like home. Yeah, see, like this, <laughs> this is probably what the entrance, you know, this is like the kitchen dining room. Do you, like, do you think they sleep in here? No. This would attach to the actual house, to where they sleep and chill out. This is just like the dining room and the kitchen. Which is fine for game purposes, again. Goku, you're finished training, right? Then let's go somewhere as a family. Well... I'm not completely finished, but okay, sure. Good, it's settled. Now that Goku finally has his license, we can borrow a large car from my father and take a relaxing drive to the lake as a family. Okie dokie. Anything we should bring? I'll put some lunch together for us. Can I count on you for some meat and fish? Meat and fish. I can remember that. How much? I'll need exactly... Bring all that back, and I'll whip up a feast. I probably have that stuff already, actually. <laughs> I can't wait to dig into some of Chi-Chi's home cooking. Yeah, we definitely have the uh, <laughs> plenty of fatty fish. I guess we got to get beast hey. rabbit. Do what you can. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. I kind of want to, if I'm allowed to, I don't know if I can change the party. Yeah, it says you can't edit it. Probably because we're in a story. I, I kind of want to let Trunks drive in a car. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just as a thing for him. But I guess we can't really do that right now. Beast me. Beast might be... It's funny, because we can fight the Ginyu Force if we want. But I'm not going to do that till later, still. Beast Meat might be here, but let's just... Food in the hyperbolic time chamber wasn't very good, huh? I can't release my full power if I don't have something tasty to eat. Good thing we left the chamber early. I guess we can find some values and we got some sub quests. Oh, well, we already knew that was the Guinea Force one, but yeah, we got some sub quests. Cool. Um, so many options. Well, we know we have to go here for the rabbit. What'd she say about the islands? Yeah, let's go here first. Something about materials, better materials. <laughs> Time to get collecting! Ding, ding. We'll think that. And we'll check out the subquest. And we'll actually, uh. 55. You know, we might be able to take these guys on now. Ha! Whoa! There's a village here? I can't wait to dig into some of Chi Chi's home cooking! Thank you. 
sunken ship. Yeah? Is that a ship? There's a ship down there. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I wonder how Master Roshi and everyone are doing. Ha! Yeah, we could probably take them on. Who do you want to take on first? And then I know there's a third one. Yeah, there it is. Well, Frieza's in two of these. Should probably take them on first. Kind of just go across. Well, let's check this out first. Hmm. Hey! Greetings. Hey! <laughs> hmm. I still don't know that he was Jackie Chan. How's that? Uh. I think TN was the only one that figured it out. Other than Nam. Yep. Sure, we'll fight Krillin. We're gonna kick the shit out of him, but, you know, we'll go easy on him. Yeah! some rabbit meat from that and beast meat it sure was a blast fighting Krillin after all this time I Great. Gotta look for it. this should be everything time to head back to Chi Chi <laughs> hmm. well, let's, uh, take them on wherever they are I'm guessing that's these guys. Eh, we'll just get in front of us. Yeah. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. There it is. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this. Alright. 
Let's do this! Ah! Rock, paper, scissors! Rock! Try this! <laughs> Try this! Yeah! How's this? No! 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 Trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'm pumped up and ready to go. Trouble later. There Best are. to deal with this now. I'm pumped up and ready to go. Try this. Try this. Yeah. 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 Try this. Ah! 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 Ah!
Trouble lady. Best to deal with this now. <coughs> Sorry, guys. What we got, what we got. Substory over here. Even though we knew the androids were coming, we still couldn't stop them. Ha! Yo! Huh? Yeah! Oh ho ho! Huh? Huh? <sighs> How is that sound? <laughs> My heavens! Very well. So this strong guy's over there, huh? There's like three of them. Which one's the closest? Strong? 
I mean, technically, yes, when it comes to Earthling standards, but... Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Fortune teller Baba can see what I'm doing in her crystal ball. She's good for the Master Roshi one. You're getting up there in age, aren't you, sis? 
I'm younger than that turtle of yours! We will see the revival of the crane. Indeed. There we go. Don't get me wrong, though. Otherworld isn't half bad. to go up here to get rabbit and stuff but uh yeah! master roshi's quest gave it to us so that was pretty convenient let's uh let's talk to baba first oh yeah i think i fought the red ribbon army not too far away from here to find oh uh, yeah, it's gonna be somewhere in this area ah! Feel free to browse. Back real soon. <sighs> yeah. Gonna teleport us to him. Instant transmission. Well, now. <clears throat> I 
Huh? <laughs> Android 8 wasn't constructed using a human base. He's like Android 16, but a much older model. <laughs> I'm very old type mod type of it. All right. Thanks. Yeah, that's why it looks like Frankenstein. Time to head to Jero's hideout that Krillin and the guys found before. Well now. So, are you ready to begin your training? Need refined iron. Oh yeah, unbridled power. Shit, why not? They're weak. We got a keeper. Found some tasty looking food. I can see myself getting lost in a city this huge. Technically, if we're going to the Northern Mountains, we should probably go this way.
This ought to be enough meat. Sup? I've never felt a stone this hard before. Yeah! Yep. Birds. You never know when it's going to prevent you from getting out. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. What's this? Huh? All right. my boy Basically said, uh, Android 16 modeled after Jiro's son, which we all know that. His real name was Givo Gevo. Ho -ho! Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Failure because he's not a killing machine, he's a kind, gentle soul. <laughs> All right, yeah. extra hard. I sure am glad Aider's better now. Just 
Let's go see what these materials are. <laughs> Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Stop following me. Yeah! Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Even the inside of the cave is frozen. Whoa, the ice goes all the way into the cave. That cave looks pretty cold. Yeah! Whoa, this stone's extra hard. I've never felt a stone this hard before. I've never felt a stone this hard before. Is that a frozen dinosaur? What's this? This thing's giving off a lot of energy. <laughs> I can tell this thing's got lots of energy. Oh, I can't shoot. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. What's this? Marble Dino Me. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I was literally just there and I already forgot where the frick his lab is. Oh, it's over here. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Can I go in here? 
See, they even have like a plate. I want to go inside. Yeah! 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 Cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Damn you! Damn you! Goku, I know it, Black Hair. You're an huh? monster. No. <laughs> Some of the way they do shit, like, no. Jeez. What now? Yes. I'm sorry, but Akira Toriyama, you know, rest his soul. God rest his soul. He's a brilliant man, but he ruined the my character. Let's be honest. Um. She was... 17 years old in Dragon Ball and then somehow magically because we gotta give Trunks a girlfriend in the future she's a she's the same age as him come on hey I guess the idea is that they accidentally wished for being to be small but like when did that actually happen yeah cause it didn't it happened in GT I think that's like that's how Goku got young but it's not a canon in Dragon Ball Z. So I don't know what he was thinking. He's like, I, I think it's, it's, the, it's like, the explanation is that, again, Akira Toriyama was a forgetful man. He constantly forgot his own lore. And I think he forgot, like, oh, like, that was in GT, not Dragon Ball Z, that I made them all young again. Like, I think Mai is as old as Bulma. Yeah. At least. Maybe even older. <laughs> and yeah, you hear the voice? It's because they gave her the younger the voice. The younger voice. Despite her being a literal adult right now. <laughs> yes. Hey. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Yeah. I was even listening to what we have to do. I was just focused on the weirdness that is my trunks. Uh, I think we have to gather materials. Okay. Yep. Oh, missing capsule. 
So the best way to do it would be to go up real high. Just look. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. For anything that looks like a capsule like that, for example. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. You're up against me now! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I hope this brings me closer to my dad. Hey! Yes. Ooh! Bum, bum, bum. That was the easiest quest. Imaginable. I say we're gonna have to fight him now. Well, has Vegeta's music playing? <laughs> huh? He's excited to fight it. It's Goku. This is it! Now that that's over, I think it's time to train. You're just everywhere, aren't you? Hmm. Hello. <laughs> Found some tasty looking food. Found some tasty looking food. Found some tasty looking food. <laughs> we got a keeper. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. Well, I think it's finally time. So, yeah, we are doing the Cell Games this episode, right? Yes. I'm just having too much fun. All right. Happy hunting! Chi-Chi, will this do for the ingredients? Back already? That's my husband for you. <laughs> I can't wait to dig in! <laughs> I'll fix this something nice, so hold your horses! Ta-da! Finished! Oh, wow! It smells delicious! I tried broadening my culinary horizons for the occasion. Set your expectations high, boys! Man, I can't wait! You'll have to. No eating until we reach the picnic spot. Then let's get going! All right.
It's been ages since we've gone out together. This will be fun. I'd do anything for some tasty grub, but I've never been big on this driving business. Why don't we just take the Nimbus? Way easier. Because then it wouldn't be a family drive, now would it? Plus, a trip by car has a little something called ambiance. Um, is that it? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Goku, remember the first day we met? When we rode on your flying Nimbus? Of course I do. We went to see Master Roshi to borrow the Boncho fan. Yep, that's right. When I was riding behind you, I already knew that we had to get married. Huh? Really? Ah, <sighs> such beautiful memories. Since the day we were first engaged up until our reunion at the World Tournament, all I could think about was meeting you again. Mom seems happy to be spending time with Dad. When that heart disease hit him, she was really worried. I know. I should excuse myself. They'd probably enjoy a bit of time alone together. Sorry, I just remembered some stuff I have to do. Mind going on ahead without me? I'll catch up as soon as I can. Huh? But Gohan, we've been planning this for... Don't worry. I know the spot. Plus, I can fly there faster than you can drive. You two, enjoy the ride. If you say so. Shall we, Goku? It'll be just the two of us. Sounds good. See you later, Gohan! Hmm, what should I do now? Hey, someone's calling. I wonder who it could be. Hello? This is Gohan. Oh, hey, Gohan. It's me, Bulma. Can you put your dad on the line? Oh, you want dad? Sorry. Him and mom just left. He did? Oh, rats. Then I just missed him. Is something the matter? Uh, maybe. You see, we're at my place fixing up the android that Krillin brought back. He needs a replacement chip in his head, but we don't have the materials to make it. I did some research, and it looks like the metals we need can only be found in your neck of the woods. I was hoping your dad would be able to help out in that department. Oh, is that all? I'd be happy to help. I'm free anyway. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay, I'll rattle off the stuff we need. Ready? Memorite. Three. Got it. I'll have these in a jiffy. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Gohan. This isn't a bad way to spend an afternoon. All right. Ooh, we have a substory up here. Tasty! This must be what Bulma was talking about.
There's one left. Where could it be? to take this back to Capsule Core. I think I can take this guy. <laughs> I'll throw him free assassination. I'm yeah. Done. The noises you make no. is so wrong. And the 
Gohan says no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 if you were not noticing the context right now. Yeah. Mm. Oh, fine. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Oh um. my god. Huh? What? Khan's more interested in plants than in curves. No. Go get her. Why you? <laughs> At least they look different. What? what? <laughs> huh? I yep. like how he just comes out of nowhere. Go get her! Respect to the old masters, though. Respect to the old masters. Um. Mm -hmm. Hey. What? Yep. Hmm. Very well. What? Hey! Why you? <laughs> Why you? What? So that's a movie they never gave us either is uh, when Master Roshi and Shen were young. Because it could have led into like the original arc of Piccolo when uh, their master had to seal him up. That would have been interesting to see. That was no walk in the park, but it's all over now. Master Mutaito, I believe was his name. Oh yeah, shit, we gotta go to Boma still. Ha! Oh, another sub quest? Man, they're just drilling them out, aren't they? This video might be longer than I thought. Ha! I was playing around before, but. Hey! 
Hey! Spar with Piccolo. Speaking of an, a master of Gohans. Right! Training with Mr. Piccolo sure is fun. Like it. Great work, Gohan. I really appreciate it. All that's left is to build the chip. Uh, uh hey, what's with that look? Uh, are you really Gohan? I am. Honest. Uh, it's a long story. I'll bet. I mean, look at you. Well, you are your father's son, and Saiyans are weird, so I guess this isn't out of the question. No use supplying logic to you guys, anyway. She's being surprisingly calm about all this. I guess living with Vegeta's kinda numbed her. Thanks for being my delivery boy. You're the best. Uh, you're welcome. And sorry I surprised you. By the way, now that you're here, do you want to watch me fix the android up? I'm pretty sure he's safe, but you know, you can't be too careful. So do you mind staying for a bit? Oh, uh, no problem. So this is an android. These things were built to kill Dad. There we go. It's done? Mm-hmm. Almost. The chip you helped us build was successfully integrated. It may be tiny, 
but it's what gives the android life. Now, we stick it in the cranial chamber here and... <laughs> Voila! Mm. Analyzing situation. He's online. Uh, hey, you! Got a name? I am Android 16. Scanning memory logs. I was brought here by Krillin for repairs. His memory circuits are functional. Oh, good. He's back! You did it, guys! Are you the ones who repaired me? I am grateful. Oh, <laughs> no need to mention it. If you want to thank someone, thank Gohan here. After all, he helped us fix you. Gohan. Uh, hello? Searching. Data profile found. Gohan, son of Goku. Hey now, mister. Just because he's Goku's son doesn't mean you have to terminate him. He is irrelevant. My target is Goku, not his offspring. That's so. Okay, I guess I can live with that. Mm. He's staring at me. Why? Doctor. Yes? I wish to run a field test in the nearby forest to gauge this body's functionality. Hmm, well, I don't see a problem with that. Come with me, Gohan. Your assistance may be required. Uh, really? Um, okay. Sorry, kid, but humor him. He should be all right. But we just restarted his systems, and you never know what could happen. Sh sure thing. I will go on ahead. Find me in the forest. Counting on you, Junior. R right. Dr. Jero's a true genius. After taking a look under that thing's hood, it's beyond complicated. If only he used his talents for good, things could have been very different. What a waste. I was under the impression killer androids would be more... killer? This one seems almost normal. I know it sounds strange, but I was hoping for more. that body of yours mm. satisfactory diagnostics indicate 100 percent functionality i'm glad to hear that um uh. oh <laughs> so do you like animals affirmative they put me at ease i like animals too all sorts of things interest me, actually. I'm hoping to be a scholar someday. A fine goal. I am certain you will make an exemplary scholar. By the way, are you really out to... K kill my dad? Affirmative. That is my only directive. 
I have no other use. As a result, I was declared defective and stored away. Huh? I loathe conflict. Therefore, as a weapon, I am defective. That's no reason to shut you down. Dr. Giraud once said, He made me in the image of his deceased son. But he was bold and daring. I am not. A war machine that shuns war is nothing but a failure. D don't say that! It's the truth. Ha <laughs> ha! So this is where all them cuddly critters been hiding. H who are you people? They're just folks. Looking to make a gosh darn fortune off of pelts. What? <laughs> Looks like we hit the jackpot. Can't believe we'd fight all these furs in one spot. They're poachers. Go on. Way ahead of you. Let's send these jerks packing. are crazier than a dog in a hubcap factory! Threat neutralized. Yeah. Go on. I am grateful for your assistance in protecting the animals. As well as for assisting with my repairs. My apologies for not thanking you sooner. Oh, it's no big deal. Hmm. The real reason I asked you to accompany me is a discrepancy between my data and your current appearance. I intended to personally reevaluate your potential in combat, but thanks to the altercation with the poachers, there is no longer such a need. Your power is immense. It far surpasses all your records in my system. I foresee you becoming the deciding factor in the outcome of the Cell Games. Me? But my dad's way stronger. <laughs> we are not so different, you and I. We aren't? Let us return for now. The doctor will be worried if we take too long. Right. Let's head back. How are Sixteen and I alike? How'd it go? Exceptional. I am fully operational thanks to you. <laughs> nice job out there, boys. I heard you rounded up some poachers. Bet you socked him something fierce, huh? What morons going up against the son of Goku and a giant android, huh? <laughs> it was nothing, really. <clears throat> I know. Why don't you stay for dinner? It's the least I can do to repay you for your help today. Honestly. I haven't done anything. Ah, uh, don't be silly. Make yourself at home and spend the night while you're at it. I'll phone your mother for you, okay? Okay. Sure. Nice. Oh. No. Oh. So Gohan's at Bulma's? I was wondering where he'd run off to. Yep, she just called and said he's staying the night too. Her family's loaded. Gohan's probably having the feast of his life right now. Aren't you jealous, Goku? Well, sure. I love myself some good grub, but nothing beats your home cooked meals. And if we're being honest, I'd choose them over any spread in the world. Really? Thanks. Even if it's just flattery. Uh, oh, I'm getting so embarrassed. 
They make a go ten tonight. Shortly after Gohan had returned home. We've just received breaking news. After having been dispatched to defeat the monster known as Cell, the Royal Guard has been utterly decimated due to one of Cell's attacks. I repeat. H how terrible! Those were innocent people. Yeah, that monster! Innocent, sure. Chi Chi. I need to talk to Piccolo about something. I'll be right back. Goku! And he's gone. What does he need to talk to Piccolo about? I I'm not sure. Yo! Goku, what is it? You don't think you'd be able to go back to how you used to be before merging with Kami, do you? What? Well, merging with Kami made the Dragon Balls disappear, right? And I want to use the Dragon Balls to wish all the people back who were killed by Cell. Sorry, but it's not like flipping a switch. We're stuck together forever. Exactly why I needed to think so long and hard about it before coming to a decision. Wow. That must have been a tough call. Hmm. I know. Maybe I could ask one of the Namekian survivors to come to Earth. If he agrees to stay here, we'd have a new guardian. And you know what that means? The Dragon Balls would come back, baby! That's a wonderful idea. Wait here. Fingers crossed. Mr. Popo's so lonely. He's like, please, Goku. With King Kai's assistance, Goku managed to zero in on the Namekian survivors' new home world. Upon arriving via instant transmission, Goku was given a hero's welcome by the planet's residents. Goku explained Earth's predicament and asked the new Grand Elder Mori if he knew any candidates suited to becoming Earth's new guardian. As luck would have it, Mori knew just the person for the job. Take a guess. It was none other than... D Dende? P Piccolo! It's been too long! Wait one sec! I'll have Gohan and Krillin here in a jiffy! Let's see... What? <laughs> Guys, meet Earth's new guardian! Uh, is that really you, Dende? It's been ages! Hey, can you believe Blondie here is actually Gohan? Krillin! Gohan! It's great to see you two! Are... are you really gonna be the new Guardian? That's right! I'm really glad our paths could cross again. Dende, is it true that you can restore the Dragon Balls? Yes, I can. Making a new set would take about a hundred days. But if we use the inert set already on Earth, I should be able to have them working in no time. Really? That's perfect! We would then get three wishes, right? Same as on Namek? Yes. So, would we be able to wish back multiple people like last time? I suppose that could be possible. I mean, I'd have to make the proper adjustments. But if you did that, it would count as two wishes. Oh? I is that all? Fine by me. Let's do it. All right. I'll begin right away. So in other words, they can have three, but they can have the two. The Dragon Ball should be restored now. They can have Wait, two wishes. what? Already? Incredible. Looks like this little guy has some serious power. All right, I'll round up all the Dragon Balls then. Gohan, consider your training complete. Kick back with Dende until the Cell games start. Huh? B but... Hey, don't worry. It'll be fine. 
Later! Well, time to get looking. Gotta wonder if Dende's related to Piccolo, because Piccolo, in the lore, Dragon Balls can only be created by specific ne Namekians that had magical powers in their bloodline. They were known as the Dragon Clan. So I sure hope the Dragon Balls really are back now. It's just hard to believe they could come back so easily. Obviously, if Dende can make Dragon Balls, he must be part of the Dragon Clan, which means he's distantly related to Piccolo. But technically, all Namex are related to each other, so... Anyway, with that said, see you next time, guys. I guess we ain't getting to the Cell Games yet. We'll get to it next time. Peace.